Lagos State Governor Babajide Somolu has reiterated his administration's strong belief in technology as a crucial driver for the continent's future development. Speaking at the 2024 Inspire Africa Conference tag, Product is Hard, the governor, who was represented by the Commissioner for Information, Binga Omotosho, stated that the conference is not just a meeting of like minds, but a call to action to dream big, think creatively, take bold steps to shape their future and vision for the continent. He also emphasized the state commitment to harnessing technology to foster sustainable growth, highlighting several ongoing initiatives aimed at integrating technology into various sectors, including education, healthcare, and agriculture. All around Lagos, we are building a 6,000 kilometers fiber optic cable. The first phase, 3,000 kilometers is almost 99% complete. And what does this mean? It means that in public places like this, you have faster internet. In our hospitals, in our schools, there will be free internet, which will also be faster than what we have today. And what it means is that it, telecom giants, MTN, Global Command, the rest of them, when they come into our state, they do not need to be digging all over the place again. It's just a plug and play that they will do. Now, the convener of the technology-driven conference, Christian Idiodi, called on the government, or government rather, to develop infrastructure that would encourage the private sector to create technologies to drive the continent's growth. Idiodi said the vision for Africa is to cultivate a product-oriented mindset and transform the continent into a province sovereign hub where Africans address Africa's challenges. He noted that Africa possesses immense talent capable of bypassing traditional problem-solving methods as evidenced by the thousands of youth attending the technology-focused conferences. The first edition last year, uh, we brought coaches from uh, the U.S., the Silicon Valley Product Group, uh, these are executives that have built amazing companies and products in Silicon Valley to coach and give back. Uh, this year, our team is product is hard because we recognize not just the nuance of building or solving problems in Africa being very challenging, but because many of the aspects of building a product is very hard. How we work together is challenging. The use of AI and emerging technology is challenging. For startups, starting a business in Africa is challenging. Funding a business is challenging. These are all really hard problems. This year, we want to have conversations around the hard problems that organizations, founders, and individuals face in trying to solve problems. We have conversations around AI. This is a combination of that tech being pervasive. And the way that youth take advantage is to solve problems with technology. That's basically it. Africa, we have some very fundamental issues, fundamental, wicked problems, as I like to call them. And so technology allows us, our, our youth specifically, to fall in love with the problem and solve the problem. Not just say I'm AI, AI, or I'm cloud, cloud, or whatever. You say, I'm solving problems, I'm using technology, I'm using digital. You're all aware of the high inflation in the country, the state of the Naira. A lot of the technology we use in payments are all imported. Software is paid for in dollars. Servers are paid for in dollars. Okay, and so on and so forth. What that basically means is that any company in payments in Nigeria today has had a very huge increase in their um, in, in their cost base. Okay. A lot of other industries have quickly gone to the market to increase prices. Unfortunately, we haven't done that in payments. And we are conscious of the fact that if we do that, um, it could be having a lot greater impact on our citizens. Now, the conference featured a range of sessions focusing on the transformative power of tech. Experts from various fields shared insight on how innovative solutions can bridge gaps and enhance service delivery across the continent. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.